Cultivating Empathy, the Power of Emotional Intelligence. Welcome back. Today, we set sail on a journey across the inner seascape of our minds, focusing on a fascinating island of thought and feeling. Emotional intelligence. Often cloaked in the shadows of traditional IQ, this form of intelligence is, in fact, a beacon, a lighthouse, guiding our interpersonal interactions and inner emotional world. Let's peel back the layers of this enigmatic concept. What is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence, or EQ, is the ability to identify, understand, and manage not only our own emotions, but also the emotions of others. Mayer, Caruso, and Salove, 2016. It's like being the conductor of an orchestra, adeptly leading the diverse instruments of emotions to create a harmonious symphony, rather than a cacophonous noise. Understanding the nuances of our emotional landscape allows us to navigate our world more effectively, deftly sidestepping potential pitfalls and leveraging opportunities. Moreover, being in tune with others' emotions enables us to build stronger, more meaningful relationships, thereby enriching our social environment. The Components of Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence isn't a monolith, but a complex structure, a mansion with many rooms. According to Mayer and Solovey's model, 1997, it comprises four interrelated skills. Emotional perception. This involves recognizing emotions in oneself and others, and also in nonverbal cues such as facial expressions and body language. It's akin to being an expert tracker, identifying subtle signs and traces in the emotional wilderness. Emotional facilitation of thought. This refers to harnessing emotions to facilitate various cognitive activities, such as problem solving and creative thinking. Imagine emotions as colors, adding vibrancy and depth to the canvas of our thoughts. Emotional understanding. This involves understanding the complexity and nuances of different emotions, including how they can blend, change, and conflict. Consider this like being a sommelier of emotions, understanding the complex notes and flavors they offer. Emotional management. This involves being able to effectively manage our own emotions and help others manage theirs. It's like being a skilled sailor, able to steer our emotional ship deftly even through stormy waters. Cultivating emotional intelligence. Now the question arises, can we cultivate emotional intelligence? The answer is a resounding yes. Like a garden, with diligent care and nurturing, we can help it bloom. Let's explore some ways we can do so. Develop emotional awareness. The first step towards developing emotional intelligence is to become more aware of our emotions. It involves tuning into our emotional radio, understanding the different frequencies, and knowing what station we're currently tuned into. Keeping a journal can be a useful tool in this endeavor, offering us a mirror to reflect and observe our emotional selves. Scott, 2018. Practice empathy. Understanding others' emotions is a critical aspect of emotional intelligence. To nurture this skill, we need to practice empathy, putting ourselves in someone else's shoes and viewing the world from their perspective. This fosters understanding and compassion, enabling us to connect more deeply with others. Gerdes and Siegel, 2011. Improve emotional regulation. Managing our emotions, particularly in challenging situations, is a vital skill. Techniques such as mindfulness, deep breathing, and cognitive reframing can help us manage our emotional responses more effectively. Gross, 2013. Enhance interpersonal skills. Emotional intelligence extends beyond understanding our own emotions to navigating the emotional landscapes of others. Building effective communication skills, practicing active listening, and nurturing our ability to give and receive feedback can all contribute to enhancing our emotional intelligence. Riggio and Ricard, 2008. The impact of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence has profound impacts on various aspects of our lives. It's a key ingredient in building healthier, more satisfying relationships. Being able to understand and respond to the emotions of others fosters deeper connections, building bridges of understanding in place of walls of miscommunication. Emotional intelligence acts as a lubricant in the machinery of social interaction, reducing friction and enhancing flow. Brackett, Rivers, and Solovey, 2011. Moreover, emotional intelligence plays a crucial role in our personal well-being. Being in tune with our emotional landscape allows us to manage our emotional health more effectively. We become better at handling stress, navigating challenges, and nurturing our mental well-being. Mikolajczak, Nellis, Hansen, and Koidbach, 2008. 
In the professional realm, emotional intelligence is increasingly recognized as a key competency. It's associated with better leadership, improved team dynamics, and greater job satisfaction. Leaders with high emotional intelligence are better at motivating their teams, fostering a positive work environment, and driving productivity. O'Boyle, Humphrey, Pollock, Hover, and Story, 2011. In sum, emotional intelligence is not just a nice-to-have. It's a must-have, a vital compass guiding our journey through the labyrinth of interpersonal and intrapersonal interactions. Wrapping up. We are all emotional beings with a vast, complex universe of feelings and sensations swirling within us. Nurturing our emotional intelligence is akin to becoming skilled cartographers of this internal universe, capable of charting our course with wisdom and finesse. In the modern world where change is the only constant, and uncertainty is a daily companion, emotional intelligence is our anchor, allowing us to stay grounded in the storm. So let's cultivate it with care and intention, so we may all navigate our shared world with greater understanding and compassion. And with that, we draw to a close on this exploration of emotional intelligence. We have traversed vast inner landscapes, voyaged through complex emotional waters, and hopefully emerged with a richer understanding of ourselves and others. So until next time, take care, and remember, the journey of understanding is as endless as it is rewarding.